My name is James Jensen. I'm the CEO of TapU. I'm really excited about the startup space because it's putting all of the startups together. So we've got many, many floors of hundreds and hundreds of different startups, and I've already had the opportunity to benefit from that. Just last week, I had the opportunity to pitch in another co-working space my product, and we had all the startups there from all the different startup spaces all pitching in one place, and we've never been able to do that before, and that's why I think this space is so brilliant. And do you, I mean, do you think this is getting global attention? Yes, it's absolutely getting global attention. Um, some of the news that broke this morning was that one of the next summit is going to be Microsoft. And that's fantastic because it means now that companies here in this building have got access to global export, global customer bases. It's the thing that we've been missing most here in Sydney. And it gives me goosebumps to think we can actually do that now. We've got a global tech giant in the building who can be your customer. Hi, I'm Dave Suda from Whatcost. We're reinventing energy in the home cool. and making it intelligent so that people know what's going on in their own homes. And you guys have done something quite interesting here. Like, what 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 are, what are we in in this uh, in this room? Yeah, this is a new lab that we've developed within Tankstream Labs, and it gives us the capability of prototyping and testing um, hardware, yeah. which is quite unique. Um, and it's very, very hard to get this sort of space in a co-working um, and the tank strength guys were awesome in helping us set it up and hopefully there'll be many more companies like uh, us to follow. Yeah. What do you think, uh, in, in the long term for your company, what do you think are the, the needs to help you grow and to help you, you know, employ more staff and to get investment? What are the, what are the main, main drivers of that? So we just hired uh, a couple of new people, which is really great. Um, but. Because of the nature of our model, we have independent contractors who provide um, companionship and non-medical services uh, to people with disabilities and to people um, who are elderly, ill or injured. So for us, there's a few things like we, on the one side, it's employing more people in our business to work on Home Care Heroes and it's also getting independent contractors, so everyday people in the community who are really driven and passionate um, to be able to take part in social inclusion. But the main things for us then are um, around the accessibility to, like, to people and finding ways to reach out to the general public. Um, but also with, with our team, um, being an early stage startup means, who's also bootstrapped, means that we're relying off our growth um, so anything to do with um, early stage grants have been would, would be really useful. Um, and I guess one thing is knowing about them, which is really great about the community. For you is different now that Startup Hub is launched, it's new, but what is, what, what's the difference that you are sensing already? I think it's just a focal point for an ecosystem. Like, there's always been bubbles, Chris Burtis in 608, Harris Street was a bit of a bubble, we had Stone Tool being built, we had Tank Tool being built. I think that's uh, getting them together and actually in the same building, provides that critical mass, increase the surface area of black families, coming from regional, international, I think it can only be a good thing. Who do you think benefits most from having the Sydney Startup Hub? Is it, is it you know, pre-revenue startups or is it the big guys? Like, where, where do you think the benefit lies? I think the benefit at the moment does probably lie more in that very early stage space so that the founders can rub shoulders with each other and learn from each other and help each other and make sure that, you know, that everybody is paying their knowledge forward. I think over time, if we ask me, that, ask me that question again in another year or two, I actually think my answer will be very different and it will be much more about how corporates and larger companies can come in here and learn how to become customers. And that for me is the thing that I know we desperately need. That's awesome. Thanks very much. Pleasure.